Hey. Be. I've been worried sick about you. <sighs> I guess working two jobs and still finding time to go to the market. It's not as easy as they make it seem in the movies. Well, they never make it seem easy. <sighs> you should just call me. I'd have gone to the market myself. Why stress yourself? <laughs> what? You would have gone where and do what? So that you come back and cook a pot of pepper with a, a little sprinkle of rice in the middle. Okay. I'll eat and I'll porch for five days. No, I'm Excuse good. Excuse me, darling. It's not my fault that you have a soft stomach. Babe, there's nothing like a soft stomach. There's just stomach reacting to badly prepared meal. Are you trying to say that I'm a bad cook? Oh. Yes, you are. I did not put water in my mouth. Okay. I said, oh, what is this? What is the meaning of this? He brought this. Yeah. My God. Why are they doing this to us? This is too much. An eviction later? Yeah. And the funny thing is I tried talking to him, but he doesn't want to listen, I guess. I guess their minds are already made up. Why would this why would this be happening to us right now? Why? It's not as if this house comes cheap. This house is costing us a lot and we already paid half payment, right? It's just it's just the six months that we have left and we have not even the last the one we paid and they are on our next to pay the full rent. They're not even asking for the full rent. And we should pack out. How? Where are we supposed to go? Why is this why is he doing this to us? Babe, I don't even know. And that's the truth. But it's just obvious their minds are already made up. So it's either we make payments. Of which I don't even think they want us anymore. So we just have to go. This is so not fair. Yes, I know it's not fair. <laughs> but we don't have a choice, right? We don't have a choice. We just have to go. Okay? How can people be this weekend? We don't deserve this. We don't. I don't need this stress right now. I don't. Yes, we don't. You know what? Don't worry. Let's just go to bed and sleep. By tomorrow, we'll know how to handle the situation better. Okay? Wait. Sir, please. We already paid it, the complete six months rent. And it's not even up to six months yet. Just give us a little time. We will complete it. Please, sir. Hello, madam. This flat only takes one year rent. I've been leaning in love with you both for years. The landlord will lease you out. Sir, you know how difficult it is to find a house in this Lagos. It's going to stress us. Think about the stress we'll put us through. Just give us a little time, please. We will meet up. Just give Kira and I a little time. I'm begging you, sir. Please. We will. He Hello? Uh, hello, sir. What did he say? <sighs> Nothing positive. He hung up on me. But didn't we know that already? Gosh, man, things are really so hard on us. For goodness sake, we've never heard this one money for once. So why is he acting this way? Greed. I'm sure of it. Greed. This is just too much. How are we even supposed to start looking for a house? Where are we even going to start from? You know how difficult it is to get a house in these Lagos. How? I'm not even caught up for this, this manner of stress at all.
Babes, I don't think we should give up yet. We still have three months before the eviction. What does that change? Does that change anything? You know I don't have the time for this house hunting right now. I took a second job. I work two jobs. I'm always stressed and tired. Why is this happening to me right now? Why? I work too, right? Listen, we've tried our best. If they don't want us here, then we'll just, we'll just go get somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if we continue to plead, they might have a change of heart. Then let's just channel that energy into somewhere else different. Maybe somewhere cheaper this time, who knows? Where? Anywhere. What are you even saying? It was even a miracle that we were able to get this one at 1.5 million naira. Tell me where we're going to get a good house that is free. And the thing is, I don't even have this time. I'm always tired. What time do I have to come back from work and then start going for, for house searching? I, I, I might just, just break down. What is all this? Why is this happening to me now? First, I lose my main job. Now I'm in between houses like this. It's, it's okay. Too much. It's okay. Come on, stop. You'll be fine. There's nothing wrong. Okay? You don't have to feel down. Please. There's no point for us pleading with the landlord or whatever. It's not worth it. They don't want us here. Then we'll take a walk. We go. It's as simple as that. We'll be fine anyways. Cheer up. Come on, eat your food. I took my time preparing this food though. You better eat this food. It must not waste. Eat. Everything is going to be fine, okay? This is just for the meantime. We'll be fine. Thank you. You're welcome. What happened to the car? Nothing, Kira. We have been driving and driving and driving. Still, we haven't seen anything close to what we want. I suggest we calm down and split up. Calm down and split up? Under the sun? What do you suggest? Hmm? That we take the money we don't have and squander it on agents who will take us around and still show us rubbish houses. Is that what you want? Oh my God, I can't believe this. See, it's, it's no big deal, okay? I just suggest... We calm down, you, you can look into this other street while I take the other one. That way, we will cover more grounds and it will even be faster. What do you think? Okay, that's fine. It's better. See, before you know it, you see something we like. So that we can make good use of today. I already know today is not going to be easy. But I didn't plan to stress my life like this. It's never going to be easy. But when I finish before you, I'll call you so I'll know where you are. And if you finish before me, do the same thing, okay? So I'll be going to that side yeah, while you go to the other side. Okay. Okay. Hey, God, no. hey. See, it's not gonna be easy. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> hey, God, no. Wow. So I'll be stressing myself this much like this. It's okay, you can do oh it. Oh my God. How may I help you? Just give me a minute. Hold on. You lost? No, no, no. Um, I 
I was just driving and um, I saw you. I was, I was taking my breath away. I was taken by you. Hey, hold on, please. Is this sun not too hot for this? See, I'm in search of something so you can see that I'm in no mood for this, whatever this is. Okay, so what are you searching for, actually? Oh, my God. A house. Yes, uh, I want to rent a house so urgently. You see why I cannot stand under the sun talking to you to the so stranger. stranger. I know. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, I get it. Okay, so I'm. Um, I, I have. I, I could. I could. I have an agent. He could get you the house. Oh, you yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a card, a number, anything I can call? Sure. Um, card. Yeah. I do have a card actually. That's it. Thank you. And your name. It's crazy down here. The sun is too hot. I have never even seen anything close to what I'm looking for. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's not as if I was expecting also have a fantastic day on our day one search. But I really had high hopes. If I just know now, like the main thing paining me right now is the fact that I had to wear his and wear proper makeup. I thought that's Kukuma just wear slippers now. Ah, relax. It's not easy and you know it. But I saw one house on the other streets. <laughs> Kira. The passage that leads to the kitchen could not even fit my body. But they said it's 850,000 naira. <laughs> With the rates they're calling money right now, yeah, we'll end up living on the street too. Mm. I don't get it. Are you not going to call that guy? What guy? The guy you told me about. No, I'm not going to call him. I only took his complimentary card because I didn't want him to continue bugging me. Celine! What? Hey God, have mercy on me. You know we need this guy more than ever. So I guess if you if can help us out, then that's fine. So we can focus on our job. Oh my God, what are you even saying? How many agents do we have? We have agents that can help us actually get this house right. So why would we ignore them and then take recommendation from a total stranger? Listen, the guy could be our lucky charm. He could just make the work easier for us. But... I am not calling him. I am not. Please, let's just go and rest. This is just a waste. Nothing. Okay. But it'll be fine if you can just call him. There's a toilet here. Can you copy their number? This house doesn't look like Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. um, Let me take a picture. Yeah, take a picture. I think that's better. This house looks too good. I know they will make all money for me, Lord. Wahala! Thank you, Sna, your mate. Oh my goodness, hey, but I'm no. tired. Trust me, I'm really so tired. Sna, Lord, why? Why? Why is stressing us now? No, we don't have time for this. It is well. <laughs> there's something I wanted to ask you though because I don't know why you were laughing about it I just didn't want to say anything as well we could focus on the game but why were you laughing? what, what, what was so funny about what I said? Dustin, here, here's the thing listen, you just met a girl yes and had to lie to her about knowing an estate agent just because you want to get to know her oh, awesome how her. I mean, how ridiculous can you be? No, but I wasn't thinking the lie slipped out too fast yeah, but what if she calls asking for the estate agent? That's just if. That is the problem. If is the problem, and I don't think she will. Why not? You gave her your complimentary card, man, didn't you? Yeah, but for the first time, the girl wasn't too thrilled to see me. She didn't... I, she, she was even irritated, sort of. Well, good reason then to let her slide. No. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? Where's this ball now? <laughs> What do you intend to do? I mean, like, no, you... <laughs> you would never see this girl again. Oh. And even if you want to, how would you? I mean, Lagos is such a vast city. Oh. You know that? Huh? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. if all you have told me here is anything to go by, mm. she may never call you. No, but I'll get her. I always do. She won't be an exemption. 
All it will take is time. Well, we'll see about that. I'm saying so because, you know, vintage you. Uh -huh. You might be on your way to work tomorrow morning. Yeah. And then, boom, a girl pops up. Another girl. And then you're singing a different tune. You know what? What are you very nonsense, man? You're calling me a womanizer. Is that what you're saying? I'm just saying. <laughs> just keep that thought in your head. You are, you are an enigma. Yeah, Dustin, right. you are an enigma. That's what you are. Uh huh. <laughs> Hold on. What are you doing? No, 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 no. What's that? that? It's false thinking. I'm not playing anymore. Hey, you're so cool. I'm playing. You're talking like a child. Hey, come anymore. on. Madam, how is your boss? Or should I say, our boss? Mm -hmm. Your boss, what's up with him? My boss? Why are you asking though? Why wouldn't I ask someone that has been asking my flatmate out for months? Of course I should ask. We are all in this together. Hmm? You don't give up, right? <laughs> Why would I give up? Huh. You have not mentioned him in a while. And frankly, I thought that the talking stage was going to lead to the altar. What? You have not said anything about him in a while. Did you both have a fight? Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, he's a married man. Shut the front door. Yeah. What? He was hitting on three of the girls in the office. It's a lie. I wish it was. Oh my god, man. He got exposed when he got a lady pregnant. Eh? And, and he dumped her afterwards. After promising her heaven and earth. Same way he did with you. Exactly. Same way. <sighs> she really caught the thing. She did. At the office? Mm hmm. Wow. Unfortunately for him, the wife came and visited him. No way. For the very first time in the office and she had everything. We all did. Oh my God. Are you okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. I'm, I'm good. Trust me. I'm fine. It's been months of being deceived. Right? But I'm just glad that he doesn't work in the office anymore. Oh, thank God. Thankfully, we all got to know that we all have been used. So it's not a loss after all. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't know. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm good. Back to cleaning. <laughs> I'm a <bowl. laughs> Oh my god. Never thought he was possible for a player. Rodrigo. Fool in love. I'm doing things I ain't meant to do. Whip it in. <laughs> oh. Oh wow. wow, 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 that's a nice celebration right there. Take this call now, I think it is distracting. Ah. <sighs> Intention of speaking with him, blah, 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 blah. I've heard of that a million times before, guys, spare me. Yes, huh? I've told him, but I hope he gets tired. And you, why don't you just get this thing off your chest? Speak with him, man to man, once and for all. Oh. Everything. Your dad, your mom, don't, your... Don't make sense. Don't, don't, don't. Ah. don't, don't do that. Don't talk to him. Fine. That's not no, but I didn't mean that you could... You, 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 listen, I'll shut the door and go here. I'm not going down. He? <laughs> Guy, don't be ridiculous. At least let me finish the game. <laughs> He's sulking like a, a, a toddler. Yeah, that's because I don't want to repeat what I've said to you over a thousand times already. I have no intention of speaking to you. Can you please come home, Dustin? 
Home. Home? Don't be stubborn. Home, are, are you... Listen, I'm not... I'm, I'm a grown man. I'm not a kid. I have my own dreams. Yet this family business watered and filled that dream. So... So I have to slave till death because you did something every father would have done for his son. Huh? And I have to abandon my life and, and, and my dreams and come work for your company. Your life is this company. So this is why you raised us, right? You raised us to take over your legacy, whether we like it or not. You have five children. Four have already abandoned their dreams to follow your company. I will not be the fifth. You never speak to me unless it's work. That is not fatherhood. It's an order, Dustin. What are you doing? Getting ready for work, of course. So what about our house hunting? Oh, are you just gonna dress and leave like we don't have a problem? Uh, Kira, I have a life aside going for house hunting. Okay, you know I work two jobs and I need to go to work. The reason I had time to do that with you the other day was because it was my off day. Today, I have half day. So let me just report to work and then take permission and see if I can leave on time so we can continue our search, okay? Oh, are you just going to call that guy that offered to help us the other day to get an agent for free? Uh, so we can be free. I'll see you later, okay? Kira, I don't want to talk about this. Should we have any breakfast at least? I'll grab something on my way to work. We're meant to eat together. Sorry. Love you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Dustin Terry. Dustin Terry? <laughs> Never thought it was possible for a player to fall in love. How I'm doing things I ain't meant to do. You know Hi. myself, cause I'm in love with you. And I just wanna be. You? Did you follow me here? Are you stalking me? Should I be worried? No, please just calm down. I would have asked you if I could sit, but I've done that already. What is this about? My name is Dustin. Dustin Terry. Okay. My name is Dustin Terry. I believe I am not deaf. I heard you the first time. Why are you repeating yourself? You don't, you don't know me. Am I supposed to? Uh, my, like, my name is Dustin hey, Terry. Uh, stop that, okay? I heard you the first, second, third time. Stop that already, okay? I don't want to hear that one more time. Thank you. Okay, so you, you promised to call me right in Chipotle. Oh my God, well, I... You know what? Just give me your number. I'll call and then we can come pick you up after work. And hang out and have drinks. What do you say? Please. And if I say no? I'll keep appearing like this until you agree. Bro, that girl doesn't know me. I mentioned my name again and again, but nothing. She didn't seem to recognize the name. So, so let me get this. So, everyone in Lagos is meant to know you. 
just because you're from a famous background or a wealthy parentage or what? I don't get it. Yeah, but everybody knows the name. Yeah. <laughs> Aside from the name, there's my charm. It's my smile, my cologne, my charisma. <laughs> I mean, that always moves the girl, but this girl, nothing. It didn't even seem, she didn't, she didn't seem moved at all. Oh, I see. So, because you didn't notice the charm, the cologne, your mm, 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 mm. So you're torn apart. Like, you're used to snatching girls' souls with your charm, your family name, and all of those things. But you met a different kind of woman. Is that what you say? You know what? <laughs> I mean, you can laugh, that's fine, but I'm going to get that girl. I don't have a number, so... All I need now is to hope that she looks me up and... Uh, and she does that, she'll be intrigued. Looks you up where? You know the shame. Listen, why don't you just channel this, your ingenuity, this passion, into something more productive? Like the work you have at hand. Are you kidding me? I'm about to take this girl out on a date. I need to get my game on. Buy her gifts and stuff. The girls are moved by that. You're unbelievable, man. You know what, man? What? Do what you please. Mm. I'm tired of this conversation. And be thirsty to grab something out of the What do you have? Look how dejected you're looking just because of a woman, dude, this guy. Dude, dude. <laughs> I'm very... Nah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Telling you about a girl, you're telling me you want something to drink. Oh, Kira, please. Oh, yes, I know, babe. You have no single idea who you're turning that on. Eh? My God. One of the biggest boys in Lagos, Nigeria. My darling, relax. This one, you must hear it. What is it? See, I had a very long day, okay? Let's not do this, please. Okay, that's fine. I won't know this, but just take a good look at the complimentary card. Look at it now, come on. See, Dustin Terry. Ah, my friend, you don't catch me, Fisher. Ah, I'm so happy for you, my darling. You, if, if I'm so man. Hey, babe, what did you even get him? What is it? I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. I right? do not know this guy, and I don't care. You must care. What do you mean? You oh, must care. Yeah. I'm your friend and I want the best for you. Mm -hmm. This guy is from one of the richest families in Nigeria. He dies with the likes of the um, Dangote, singers, musicians. Eh? My darling, <laughs> you don't catch big fish. I'm so happy for you. Mm. Yes. It's beginning to make sense now. So is this why he was more interested in knowing if I recognize him other than actually getting to know me? <laughs> Anyway, good for him. I'm happy that he's rich. Good for him and his family. But I don't care. You know these things don't move me at all. You know this about me, so why are you making a fuss? Thank you. That's fine. But if he eventually calls you, you pick up his call. And you go. go where? To see him. <laughs> why? For a business appointment or what? Listen. <laughs> well, I'll follow my heart on this one. Mm -hmm. And sadly, my heart doesn't beat for him one bit. Because you... Oh my god, a close heart beat for nobody. Now you have to open your heart. Open your heart so you can see the love you have for him. He's in money. You are crazy, Kira. You are crazy, I know that, but I want you to date this guy. You have to have it. Hey, God. That's the Terry. Shattered like glass. Tell me I'm a fool. I'm probably a green. Hello? It's me, Dustin. Dustin? I wanted to call earlier, but I figured you'd be tired from work. Can we just go somewhere? Go where? Somewhere nice. Because I get to treat you to something nice while we get to know each other. 
say yes. 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 Um. Uh. Sorry. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow will be very busy for me. I don't know. But let's see how it goes. I could probably squeeze out some time. 5 p.m. maybe. I'm not sure. 5 p.m. is perfect. Be nice to see you tomorrow. Okay. Wonderful! Hey! We have a day supply! Hey, yeah. We have a day supply! Relax! It's, it's not that serious. I have not even said yes. You go green. You don't get shy. I thought you were serious with your feet. What are you doing here? Please, I want to go back to my work. Let's go back to work. Get out. Go away. I think this means. I'm a boy. We have a date. What are you going to wear? What are you wearing? Don't I'll pick for you. I'll pick you that pink dress. I will change my mind in one. No, oh, sorry, no, this. Let me just go. Mm. What? You look gorgeous. <sighs> Come on, Kira. I'm beginning to feel like you believe I look good in anything. This is just a simple dress. I'm well fitted, my darling. And the color suits you so well. Look at the color. I love it. Don't worry. He's going to be very impressed. I hope not. So that he will stop bothering me. Oh, gosh. Not again. Celine, just... It's not today. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh-huh. Did you look him up? Yes, I did. I wanted to know what the hype was about. Now I understand, but I'm still not impressed. Doesn't change anything. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Get going, my darling. So you don't get late for your dates. Sure. I hope you'll find love. What? This might just change. <laughs> it's just a date, love. Okay, that's fine. Get going. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bye. You're unbelievable. Okay, I love you. Love you, bye. So, tell me about yourself. <laughs> What's there to tell? I mean, it's just the story of a boring, regular girl. Still, I'd like to hear it, so tell me. Okay, my name is Salim. You know that already. I work two jobs, so you see why I will not have time for anything else that brings fun to life. So, have you been outside the country? Have you traveled anywhere? Switzerland, Spain? Monaco, France, London, anywhere. Well, Mr. Dustin, some of us don't get paid enough for frolicking lifestyles. And if you didn't get paid, would you love to go? Because I'd like to tour the world with you. I'd like to go to Switzerland. I'd like to go to Spain. I mean, I have houses in these places. I have cabins in Cyprus. If you prefer something quiet. Oh, no, thank you. I'll pass. And where did you school? Unilag, business administration. Oh, that's exactly what I studied too. Oh, no, really? The difference is I studied in England, that's where I had my first degree. And then I went for a master's degree in Spain and another master's in Switzerland and uh, another degree, you know, in Cyprus. I, I miss Cyprus, by the way, because, you know, the villas, the, the easy leaving, the cabins. Is this why we are here? I mean, you bring me out on a date so you could sit there and hear yourself go on and on and on about your luxury life? No, I, I was simply... Well, that is exactly how it looks like from this angle. And it's detasteful. Well, that's a bit weird, don't you think? Well, inviting a total stranger and going on a babble about your current affairs is what I find unruly and repulsive. Please, sir, I need to go. Okay, well, hold on, hold on if uh, what I just said wouldn't impress you, I, I think I just might have the thing that way. Oh, God. Go. What's going on here? Okay, I got your gifts, some jewelry and stuff. Oh, how cute. But I don't take gifts from strangers. Okay? Please, can you take me home, please? You, uh, you forgot this. Oh, that's not mine. 
How long are you going to keep rejecting everything that I offer? I got you this gift. I go out of my way to impress you, but instead it just irritates you. Why? How about you stop trying to flaunt your wealth or how influential you are around me? Try having a normal conversation without making me feel like I'm so ordinary because I have to struggle to make ends meet. Have a nice day, Dustin. Celine, Celine, okay. All right, Celine, wait, wait. How about we meet some other time and... I hear you go all and all and all and all about yourself. Nah, I'll pass. Excuse me. Celine. this what is she doing man thank god you're finally here man i mean she rushed in here like some wild hurricane threatening to pull down this whole building turning everywhere upside down and she's looking for you who the hell are you who am i yes don't start that trash with me dustin you know me too well it's only been weeks and you want to claim to have forgotten me? Please get the hell out of my house, Saint. How could you let a total stranger into my home? What would you have me do? I thought she rushed in here like some wild hurricane, claiming that you were with her and you guys were together. I don't know what she was talking about. And what would you have me do? Huh? Let me be, man. Just let me be. <laughs> Dustin, it's me, Rosie. We met for the second time at the bar, one month ago. Then we left for the VIP lounge. Do you remember now? Listen, I meet a lot of people every day. I don't keep track. But one thing I do know is that I owe nobody. I don't remember meeting you, so get the hell out of my house. Well, maybe I should jog your memory of all we did that night with your friend sitting here. What do you want? I'm pregnant and the child is yours. Get the hell out of my house. We're just a one night stand, Rosemary. Rosie! Whatever, I don't give a shit what your name is. Who knows how many people you slept with before and after me and then you wake up one morning and decide to pin it on me. I am a woman and I know who is the father of my child. Oh, man, this is ridiculous. So that's what your woman who told you? You and your womanhood are stupid. Now the thing is, you, you, you think I don't know the games you girls play? Oh yeah, so we met at the lounge, so what? One morning you wake up and you try to extort me? You try to extort me? Well done, Mr. Smart. So what is it going to be? Are you going to take responsibility or should I leak this to the blocks and in an hour you will be trending? Hmm? I thought as much. He offered to get us the gifts back. You refused. He offered us an agent. You turned it down. Celine, what's the call of your problem? Do you want to die single? Kira, you were not there. This guy went on and on and on and on about himself. And he was annoying. Pretty annoying. Well, that's because, of course, it's a spoil to rich brats. What were you expected? Nothing. That's exactly what I want from him. Nothing. Okay? Besides, being a spoiled, rich rat doesn't exactly sound like the description of the kind of man I want. Hmm? Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'll pass. You pass nowhere. Come on, babe. Stop being stubborn. Just stop it. I'm not. Yes, you are. He's not my type, and that's on period. If you don't give him a chance, then how would you know he's your type? 
Just give him a chance, okay? Please. He's just begging for just one more chance. Uh, okay, you know what? Go to bed. This guy is not my kind. Of I'm not going to bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please now. Leave me alone now, this girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> How could you just believe everything she said? You think she's bluffing? No, no, dude, like, you can't try these girls. They've got nothing to lose. She'll just leak it to the blogs. That'll give her more exposure and that will result in me getting dragged for weeks. And then there's my dad. And that's the tricky part. You said he was trying to expand his business to Asia. Yeah. I can imagine putting so much work into your business. And then when things are looking like they're gonna shape up and then boom, family's in the news for the wrong reason. You get the point, that's my point. That's my point. He's already disappointed in me that I didn't come home and take over the job. And now this, I don't want to give him more reason to be, you know, that there's my business. I can't risk this kind of news. I have too much to lose. Listen, man, this is your personal life. And besides, I don't see anyone believing or anyone pulling out of any business concern just because one lousy, unreliable one night stand is coming pregnancy. Bro, I need to be more careful. I... So what are you going to do? Take responsibility. No, that's not my child now. How can I take responsibility? What? Have you just had sex twice? What can I one night stand be pregnant for me? Uh, two nights stand. No, but seriously. I'm sorry, but look at that. She's pregnant. And she's looking like trouble. So my suggestion will be that you meet up with her, talk with her, be gentle with her, and just find out what she wants, basically. It's money, that's all. What else can it be? Money, that's what she wants. You have tons of this money, don't you, my man? Huh? Here, here's the thing. Uh, I, like I said before, I strongly suggest that you meet up with her, talk with her, like I said, be gentle and nice with her, and then let's see what she wants. Uh, Hopefully, she's not going to uh, demand something outrageous as you being the father of the child. Oh, uh, baby, it's not my child. What if it turns out to be? I can tell. It's not. Oh well, we'll put the debate to bed right now. What's up, Bradley? Don't forget to lock your door. Yeah. Before the Pokemon Rosie pops up. <laughs> Stay strong, my man. Have a visitor. I'm not expecting anyone. Who could that be? Come see for yourself. Okay. You look good already. Come on, let's go. All right. <laughs> see you. Um, what are you doing in my house? Hey. I couldn't sleep a wink last night. Couldn't stop thinking about you and how angry the date made you. By bringing more gifts? I thought I made it clear that I don't take gifts from strangers. You can't buy me over with this. No, I'm not trying to. I just... Listen, I'm spending it on you to show you how much I like. And I want you to see that. Oh, wow. How cute. Well, thanks for trying, but you can leave, please. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry, I can't. So, <laughs> what do you want to prove that I'm really interested in you? You want money? More yeah. gifts? To take you on a shopping spree? Buy your clothes? Hair? Bags? Everything? Do I look hungry to you? Do I look like a beggar? What is this? You leave your house, you come to mine to flaunt your wealth to my face. Did I tell you I haven't seen money before? This is quite disrespectful. Celine, please. Mm. Listen, I, I'm only trying to impress you, that's all. Oh, wow. Well, this is an awful way to try and make a false impression. 
as hard as it may be for you to believe. Some of us don't get impressed by this. You can't get a woman's attention by just throwing your wealth around. I find it quite irritating. So how do I show you that I care about you and I like you? <sighs> wow. Well, it is rude for you to barge into someone's house without being invited. Next time, wait for me to allow you in, okay? Please just go and take this and get out respectfully. Celine. Celine. Don't worry, okay? I'll talk to you now. Thank you. You're welcome. You can take me back. All right. Hey, Wait, what? You took the gifts from him? Yes. Oh. Celine, can't you say that this guy really loves you so much? Why are you giving him tough times? Tough time, you see. Kira, have you actually stopped to consider that maybe I don't like this guy? Oh, come on. He's every lady's back. Yeah. I'm very sure you like him, but maybe you don't know about that yet. Why? Because he's rich? This guy cannot even have a full conversation without boasting about how rich he is, how gifts, vacation, money, lifestyle, and every other thing people like him do. And I don't care. Good for him if he has money, but I do not care. Okay? Because that is life. I'm going to sound jealous. Jealous? Yes. Why would I be jealous of him? I don't know. I am irritated. Okay? If I want to be with a man, then I have to be with a man who cares for me, who makes me feel loved. Heard and, and seen. Not a man who just throws money around and gives and thinks, oh, life revolves around his money. No, he will not forget the basis of relationship. Okay. I get you. Listen. Salim, I'm your friend, right? And of course I want the best for you. I just want to see you smile and be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Baby girl, this guy truly loves you. All he's just asking of is just for one date. One simple date for you guys to go out and then that's fine. Look at the stuff he got for us. Okay? Come on. Just imagine the kind of life we'll be living, the life of Wall Street, if you agree to dating. Did you say we? Yes, we. <laughs> it's the we for me. It's the we for us. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Please, please, for you to just let me rest, can I think about this? Hmm? Oh gosh, you see why I love you. Come here. I have I not said hug? yes yet. I said I'll think about it. Can I get a hug? Why? Oh, give me a hug. Oh, my oh, oh, yes. oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, this is your favorite color. We got you the stuffs. I mean, the blue is your favorite color, right? If you don't like this guy, just when you give the stuffs, give them to me. I'll wear them. It's as simple as that. Ha! Ah, this guy is so a darling. Man, baby girl, I'm so happy. Let me keep them for you. If you don't want them, I'll keep them. Yeah, just a gold digger. I'm a proud one. Proud gold digger. <laughs> proud gold digger of life. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Guys, hey. so, so, are you gonna talk about it? Or are you gonna let it eat you up all day? This is not about roast. No, please, please. Don't call that devil's name here. I have more pressing issues I need to sort out. And, um, not your dad. Celine. The girl I told you about, the one I met. So I took her, I went to see her with gifts, and she refused them. She said she didn't want to see me. So we see the honor about this girl, aren't you? Yeah, because there's something different about her that just keeps dragging me back. I, yeah, I, listen, I couldn't sleep a wink last night. I, all I could think about was this girl. I think I'm beginning, I'm beginning to like her, you know. What? Okay, you yeah, know, it's fine. Joke, no. Listen, you've been making funny faces. Joke about it all you want, but that's just, just, I like her. No, it's true. I do, you know, and I just want to take care of her and spoil her and, and all of that, but she just keeps turning me down. Yeah, it sounds great. Go ahead, spoil her. <sighs> yeah, it sounds great. Like, take her, spoil her, own her. Take her on a lap of luxury to Brazil. 
Do what you please, but may I remind you of something much more urgent on ground. Oh my goodness, what is the Rosie? A talk of the devil. Man, it's not by force now. I said I don't want. I don't want to be in your shoes, right? No, you don't want to be in my shoes. Rosie, let's give me a break. Am I the... Is she the first person, like... Ah, this whiskey tastes great. That's all I care about right now. Hello? Um, I wanted to know if you'd love to have dinner with me tonight. I already gave you my answer, but I'm guessing you think I'll change my mind just because you called? I've been pleading with you. Can't you at least soften up a bit? I mean, what is it that I did that you can't forgive? Or you can't give me a chance to mend? Hmm. Fine. This evening, 5 p.m. I'll pick you up. Okay, sure. Bye. Hmm. Wow. Yep. Wonders should never end. So, you? What Cook? You Hang on. Ah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Mm. So what is, what's up? Wow. In all sincerity, this tastes really, really amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. I remember you attempted cooking sometime in the past and it was a fiasco, a horror show. What changed? Oh, uh, thanks to YouTube. Oh, is that it? <laughs> yeah. And you got it on first attempt. Doesn't matter. I mean, a lot of matters that it came out good. So. Man, look at you. Yeah. Man, you really do love this girl. No, 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 I'm serious. Uh, <laughs> because I remember in time past you attempted them. Um, um, I mean, like, there have been instances when we were starving in this house, mm -hmm. and not for once did you ever invoke this, your YouTube genius. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Normally, you don't get sense of those. <laughs> <laughs> your father don't get sense your papa. Seriously, I, I didn't want to get rejected a second time. Like, this is the first time anyone has turned me down and like, a girl has rejected me, despite knowing who I am. So I kind of like it. I was different. Hmm. Yep. So the inspirations are flying from left, right, and center. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anything that can turn into a great cook like this, any woman, that woman is is, is worth it, actually. Right. But it's almost five, oh. Okay. We have to get going now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ready. Sure, 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 sure. Don't finish the thing. No, no, no. It really tastes good, though. I mean, I did try. Though. Let me have this. Let me have this. Let me have this. Hmm. You like it? This is nice. I learned how to make this just for you. Stop lying. I'm not for real. Hours and hours of YouTube and then finally putting it in practice. So I just, I wanted to make an effort for you. Wow. Well, the food is nice. I'm really impressed. Thank you. Celine, I... I really like it. Oh God, that's Can you just hear me out, at least just for once? Okay. I like you a lot. I know that we may be on two sides, two different sides of the world, but what I feel for you is genuine. You're so different. I've never seen a woman like this. Uh, I don't know what you want me to say. I want you to let me in. That's what are you are you asking me to be, be my woman? Yes. 
That's what I'm asking. You're always so defensive. But I'll try. I'll try to break down those walls and make you comfortable around me. Please. Um, expecting someone else? No, no, no. Don't worry, I'll trust nothing. We'll check for this, okay? Okay. Yeah. This is our bit. Wait! You're kidding. So... Are you serious? Are you out of your mind? What makes you think that you can just barge into my house and make noise? There's something wrong with you. <laughs> Why? Do you have another girl in there that you're trying to lie to again? Lie to? I never lied to you. Alright, you were just a girl who enjoyed what I had to offer, which was good sex and money. And that was it. It was transactional. It's over. Now get out of my life. You won't talk to me like I'm crazy. You promised never to leave me. People, to be here with me. Listen, people say all sorts of things in the heat of the moment. You're not a child. You should know that. But I told you. I told you that I don't take fake promises lightly. Oh God, Wookie, yes, we slept with each other once or twice. You're an adult, so you should take responsibility for whatever it is in there. The likes of you. You think you are above all because you were born into wealth and privileges. But we made this baby together. And if you refuse to comply, I will start off by alerting your father. <laughs> Now, where will a lowly call girl like you get my father's number? One end suite, four seven one. And the other one with three five four. It seems that I'm not that lowly after all. No. Do the right thing, or I call him. You have 76 hours. 76 hours dusting and after talking to him I go to the blocks nest you know I've always heard that you are proud and arrogant for calling me a call girl we also make you Your food? Oh, what? Of course I did. I finished and cleaned up. Oh, okay. I heard voices. Is everything okay? Are you okay? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm fine. It was nothing really. So, did you sort out the house issue you told me about? How did you know? You told me you were looking for an agent, remember? Oh, right. So, did you find one? Uh, not really. You know, I think I'm stalling on getting another place because deep down, I don't want to let go of my current flat. I know that doesn't make sense to you, but just... No! Come on, I understand. And, and it does make a lot of sense, actually. Can you let me handle this for you? You know, you know, let it be something that I did for you. Maybe like pay an agent to look for a place or... Um... Oh, no, no. It's fine. Don't worry yourself about it. My flatmate and I have it under control. But thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's time for me to leave. Why don't we, why 
why don't you stay back a bit? You know, watch a movie or two with me. And I could drive you back and we'll get some suya along the way. What do you think? Sounds good. Okay. Okay. today I could do some more tomorrow I could take you to try something new is that fine and if I say no I'll be here at 5 a.m begging you to change your mind oh god <laughs> fine <laughs> tomorrow after work thank you okay bye, bye. I'll get the door <laughs> as usual <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Good night. Girl. What's up? Kira. What is it? What's wrong? Where have you been? I've been calling your phone but no response. Uh, what happened? Did something happen? The caretaker came again. What do they want this time? Honestly, I don't even know. That's the truth. In fact, as a matter of fact, they came here and um, they said someone actually paid for this apartment for two years. What? And we're only for six months. So he doesn't want us here anymore because they're not willing to pay. So he wants us out. Oh my God. I even tried calling you on the phone, but you didn't pick up the call. So not. What is the meaning of this? Where does he expect us to go? Oh, so because someone paid him three million naira full rent, he wants us to just go out, live under the bridge or what? We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. After all, we're only owing for six months. We still have a right to stay here for at least three months. We're not going anywhere. What are you trying to do? I want to call him. Call him. There's no point. There's no point trying to do that, okay? Relax. I know how this man behaves. I know how he is it. So God. it's going to come around tomorrow. And when it comes around, we'll know how to handle it better. There's no point calling him. Okay? What kind of thing is this? Why can't I have one day of peace in this house? Every day problem.
This one is smiley. Okay, love a girl. <laughs> Celine. Okay. I noticed that you and Dustin have been in good behavior. Like you guys have been in good times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Very good. Uh Celine. Yes. You know that guy has a lot of money. So I was just thinking. I'm very sure he has too much money to share. Could you just please ask him for help? You know we need help. What? What is what? I don't understand. I, I don't understand too. <laughs> Baby, we have 750k rent to pay. So this guy is a rich guy. Come on. Don't, 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 don't do this, okay? I'm very sure you can help. Listen, if you give us 500k now and then we have the balance, we'll pay our rent. We won't have any issue. Wait, can you hear yourself? I mean, this, this thing that you just said, now, does it make any sense to you? Yeah. It makes sense to you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is, that means you don't listen to yourself when you talk. Do you? Here we go. I don't know why you did all. Honestly, I don't understand why you did do. Why? Why you did do like this? I don't understand. Get yeah, come on, you be fine, babe. Fine girl, original or shaprapra. Why you the fuck up now? Uh -uh. I mean, did they say anywhere in the Bible that say uh, if you collect money from man, person will die? Did they say it anywhere in the Bible? Are you normal? Wait, let me understand you properly. You want me, Celine, to tell a guy that is just asking me out for money? I should ask him for rent money. Where is your shame? I don't have shame. Oh, obviously you don't. That's why you want me to ask someone that is asking me out for money. I'm not going to do that. Hmm? Who was paying our rent before? Because there was no man ever in your life. Mm. Yes. Okay, see, babe. This guy is a billionaire son. Yes, so, and he himself is a millionaire. Yeah, it's millionaire. Babe, don't carry last, so ask this guy for money so he can actually help us. I am not going to do that. And stop making me do that. Stop saying that. You know, I cannot ask him for money. Why don't you ask your own male friends for money? Because I don't have any rich man friend. Uh. Yes, so. I don't have. See, please, I, I, I don't want to get angry, okay? I don't even like the fact that you're trying to compel me to ask a man for money. Someone I just met. I'm not going to do that. See, we're going to manage ourselves. We'll continue searching and searching and searching. And we cannot find a good place. We will manage and find a cheaper place and rent. Okay? Celine! What? Please stop. I, I, I'm beginning to get irritated. I don't like the fact that you're doing this. I can't even have this conversation with you. Baby, girl, stop, please. stop. No, no, no. Please, please, please. I don't want to get angry. I'm not asking for money and that's period. Come on, Celine. You're a fine girl. Beautiful baby. <laughs> You will ask him. You will ask her. All those guys are toasting you. Why won't you ask them? I don't worry. Five hundred thousand is come on right, right now. This is a billionaire. Listen, billion make her just go buy, buy a gun. Give you make it carry on the worker. I don't know. Mama. Wakey, wakey. 
wake up. Okay. What is it? There is a message from the kids. Oh, uh, hey, what? What is the meaning of this? Isn't it too early for more notice? What is in there? What have we done to this man? Mm? Can he just let us breathe? As if we've ever owed him. Who knows what's there? What is he saying? Someone else has paid for the house, right? We should back out and we'll go and sleep in the bridge or what? What is this? Stop laughing. It's not funny. I don't like waking up like this. It's something different. Every day different wahala. Every hey, day open different. it, girl. Come on. Open. <laughs> I won't be surprised. You will just sell this house and tell us to pack out. Never. Check it. Open. It's tired. Clean your eyes up on you. Open. Boom. Kira. <laughs> what is this? What happened? Is, is this a joke? Is this a prank? How? Honestly, I don't even know. I'll be as been glad for two years. What? And they even added us extra three months. Yeah, check it out there. Three months. I can see that. Guess what? The caretaker even pleaded. Honestly, I can't even believe this. It feels like a dream. This is impossible. Three million naira? Who do we know that will pay three million naira bill for us? How? This is... Oh, wait, our bill has been cleared? By who did, did you ask? Of course I did. The who? Hmm. It said the landlord asked him to give us this receipt, and that is all. Just like that, girl. So who paid? For like a miracle. I don't even know. It is some sort of a miracle. Yes. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. This is this is from you, Lord. This is from you. I don't. We're not me. parking out. We're not parking. Going to work. We're not moving. We're still here. We're not going for house hunting. No it's. Outside. Oh my God. This is, this, is, this is a miracle, right? I don't believe in miracles, but if this is not a miracle, then what could it be? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. This is miracle. a miracle. No, the entire Jesus! something okay do you think he did it i mean Dustin. <laughs> he wouldn't dare i mean i told him specifically not to try it i told him not to get involved so i'm sure he wouldn't want to get on my nerves not about it. like you just stand there and you know, what do you expect me to do hmm? i asked the caretaker he said that the landlord is aware that I should ask. I called the landlord. He's not taking the calls. What do you want me to do? Hmm? Instead of us digging out who paid our bills, the person wants to stay anonymous. They just respect whoever paid to stay anonymous and just focus on thanking the Lord for saving us. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like this is a good reason for him to remain anonymous so he can keep doing things for you. No, he wouldn't. So he doesn't piss you off. There. He wouldn't dare. He knows me. He knows better not to even interfere. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have a feeling mm -hmm. that the landlord is just playing a fast one on us. Maybe he'll come up later and say, it's a prank that we should pay for the six months remaining. You that, won't know. Nice. <laughs> I know, right? I, know that. I don't even want to think about it. I just want to make sure. We celebrate this win because yeah. it is a win. Course, it is yeah. our hot meal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know God did. I know God did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sure it's God. God did it. I know God did. 
are you out of your mind, Dustin? What? What do you mean, what? You busted three million bucks for this girl. I like the girl. I love the girl. That's all that matters. But she doesn't appreciate people doing things for her without a consent or approval. Why is that hard for you to process, my man? <laughs> what if she realizes that you cleared up two years' rent and even got the landlord to apologize to her? This is preposterous, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what? Okay, okay. Yeah, all right. Listen, let's just say that I know one or two things about the guy that he's not proud of. And if people find out, he won't be proud, okay? It wasn't hard to get him to apologize. I couldn't just stand by and watch them being kicked out of their house. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Because you have a heart made out of pure gold, aren't you? <laughs> Listen, do you realize that this amount of money, $3 million, uh, could have been enough for you to get the monkey off your back? I mean, in terms of... Rosie? No. No, 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 no. Listen, Rosie's not going to get a dime from me. I mean, you of all people know this. If I pay, I just won't stop. So, yeah, that aside. But listen, Saint, I love this girl, all right? And yes, I'm wealthy, but she doesn't want a dime. Even when I give, she doesn't, she doesn't, she refuses me. I couldn't just stand by and watch her kicked out. Come on. Listen, I, I just hope you'll be right about all this. Because it's been just weeks since you met this girl. And for some reasons I can't explain, I just don't feel comfortable about both her and Rosie. Honestly. Oh, don't worry. I know what I'm doing, trust me. I hope so. Uh. What, is what was that? I didn't <laughs> Why don't you go in? Go in. Uh, I don't think I'm in the mood to get wet today. Okay, no. so, so let's do it this way, right? Okay. If I go in before you, you pay for everything that I'll have here today. The food, the drinks, everything. Deal? <laughs> Deal. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You want to go first? No, you go I'll first. I'll go first? After you. Really? Yeah. After me? Mm -hmm. Why don't we go together? No. <laughs> you know, it's been two weeks and my landlord hasn't still revealed the identity of the person that cleared my rent. Strange. Maybe the person doesn't want to be known. Why don't you just leave it alone? Hmm. Okay. You know, I've been thinking, if we are going to give this a trial, I believe that we should get to know each other more. I want to get to know you, your work, your friends, your family especially. Right. Oh, seriously, we've been friends for how long now? I still don't know much about you. I mean, if you're going to do this, you know you cannot run away from this forever. Right? I'm talking about it before. All right, why the car? Why not now, here? Talk about it in the car. Fine. So. Friends. So, friendship? So what? Friendship. <laughs> 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 That's a lie. I'm serious. I mean it. I mean, I went to the university twice. Yeah. It was a rough ride, but I was determined. So, oh. yeah. Any regrets? Well, I have two degrees, but I still work two jobs that don't even pay close to what I consider as my dream salary. So, well, I don't expect the likes of you to relate. I mean. You always have everything handed to you on a platter, right? Tell us what you think. Wait till you hear my story. Hmm, there's a story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be a long ride because I want to hear it. <laughs> Rosie, game. Ignore. Okay. 
So, di lang gusto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. we do with this guy. He thinks he can make a fool of me. He wants to ruin my plan. My plan of having a perfect and rich man by my side. I will show him that I'm not one to be played with. Hey. Hi. There you go. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I hope you don't mind me asking. Why is it so difficult for you to talk to your dad? My dad. Dad, my dad, my dad. <laughs> my dad maltreated my mom in every way possible. Every way under the sun. Till she couldn't take it anymore and she just, she ran. Yeah, leaving us with him. Um, five years later or so, he remarried, had a child. My mom came back for us, but he threatened to kill us so she left. What? Shortly after that, he sent us abroad to school. He provided us with everything, you know? Houses, cars, money. He made sure that we studied courses that would push his business forward, not anything we wanted to do. <laughs> My God. Yeah. He made us slave hard for his business. It was, it was crazy. We never really knew um, what it was. It was all about money, money, money for him. We never really felt the love of a father, you know. At some point I went looking for my mother, but I never found her. It was like she didn't exist. I'm so sorry. It's sad. Yeah. Made me believe that money could get me anything in this world. All I needed <laughs> to do was to flush a little money and anything would be mine. And it worked for some time. Until I met you. Dustin, and you please, showed I... me that there are more important things in life than money. Fighting for people we love, caring for our loved ones. And for that, I love you. Well, you're here, aren't you? I mean, despite of all that you've been through, you're you're really strong. You you have your own thing going on. You have businesses in your name. You've built companies from the ground up. You didn't throw away your dreams and that I am proud of. You still ask me to come back home, but I'm never going to do that. I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have to go through that. No one should. I'm really sorry. I love you, Celine. I'm Dustin. Listen, um, I asked you something a while ago, and you've had more than enough time to think about it. So, will you be mine, Celine? I. I don't so, Celine, listen. I have no other woman in my life but you. I promise that I'm never going to hurt you. You've shown me the meaning of true love and I will love you. I'll never hurt you, I promise. Promise? I promise. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you still be one, never, ever, to keep my hopes up. Never thought it was possible. 
So what do people do when they find the perfect person but never feel like letting go? Well, you let them go so they can prepare for the other areas of their lives. Like work, I have work tomorrow. Why don't you take a vacation with me? It could be within the country, it could be outside the country. Anywhere you've dreamed of going, let's go together. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm serious. Explore with me. I want you to explore with me. Think about a country and I'll make it happen. Uh -huh. If I say no? It'll hurt. <laughs> Very much. Can I at least think about this? Hmm? And give you an answer. Maybe much later. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay then. Let's take care of yourself. Alright. Good night. Just let me get the door for you. Thank you. it so this is your life everything they said about you was true okay what is what is wrong with you what on earth is wrong with you i've told you time that i'll come to stop coming to my house you want to drive me crazy what is it feel it dustin feel it this is our child growing in me but you ignore me to chase after that woman, that cheap No, don't do that. Don't, don't you ever call her names. Okay, what you want? You want money? Is that what you want? You want money? Okay, send me, give me, give me, what are your account details? I'll transfer money to you and maybe you will leave me alone. Because what is all this? Every time, every time I find a way to make myself happy, you appear from nowhere. What sort of witchcraft is this? Money. Are you a witch? Money. No. You are the price, Dustin. I want you to marry me. So we can have a family and raise this little one together. I don't even know you for crying out loud. I don't know who you are. Yes, we met at the lounge, we had fun, but I paid you handsomely, you got paid twice. Because of that, you think you can sell me this rubbish? Then should I go to your father? Do you want to ruin everything he worked for? Or better still, should I add a little more spice to this and go to the bloods? Huh? Just do what you want. Do what you want. Dustin! You will regret this, Dustin! You will regret this, Dustin! Yeah? Hey. Bro. Yeah. What's up? Good. You okay? Sure might be. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. What's, what's oh, going on? Have you been on? online this morning? No. What happened? So, you means you haven't seen this? Fire. You need to see this. See what? Just check it. What's that? Just check it. What's there? Check it! Come on. Oh God. What? Dustin got someone pregnant? Rosie? No. This can't be. There must be a mistake. I'm sure of it. 
There's no mistake, my darling. Oh my God. How dare she? I paid that girl for crying out loud. Those who don't know how hard it is to build are the first to tear things down. Why was that two night stand want to ruin my life? Why? By now, Celine probably would have seen this. What do you think? She's not picking up. Let's hope she hasn't seen it. She's not picking up. Man, you're the worst best that you can ever imagine. What kind of temptation? What? Calm down. You know what? Calm down. And let's hope she hasn't seen this. All right? So you can go over and explain things to her before she finds out. All right? <laughs> I'm such a fool! Such a big fool! <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's that? Where's, what is this? Where's, where's Celine? Where's Celine? You're Celine. You're trending, do you know that? Like your stories are everywhere between you and that cold girl. Yet you still have the gods to come in here asking for your Celine. Just so you know, she doesn't want to see you. So get out. Celine, 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 Celine! You can't go anywhere! Celine. Just, just let him be. You don't know half of this. And are you going to tell me what it is? Because I don't even know you. And just in case you're his friend, I'll be pleased to announce to you that I already vouched for your friend before even getting to know him. Yet he chose to hurt my friend this way. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Then you better start speaking. Thanks for sure. It's absolutely not what you guys think. Absolutely not. Baby. Celine. You had another woman. Should I say you have another woman? You even got her pregnant. Rosie. Rosie? The same Rosie I asked you about and you said there was nothing to talk about. That's the same Rosie that is pregnant for you. Is this, is this all I am to you? A plaything you just want to use and dump? Is this, is this all a game to you? This happened. I met her before I met you. Okay, I didn't lie to you. She likes me, babe. She got angry that I found somebody else and then she did this. But she knew. You knew all along that she was pregnant. You didn't tell me. You didn't give me fit to tell me and you claimed that you loved me. How am I supposed to believe that? I'm a fool. I'm a fool to have thought that I could handle it all. So oh God. Baby, listen. I want you, you're my life. You're the only woman that I genuinely want. I don't even know this, Rosie. Yes, we slept together twice, but... Listen, it was all before I met you. I love you. I do. And I'm supposed to believe you. Right? Right? I'm supposed to believe that. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't believe you. I messed up. I know this. I messed up. Huh? I did. Baby. Baby. Please listen. I messed up. Okay, I messed up. I, when all this started, I should have told you, but I didn't know she was going to be crazy. I'll get the police to tame her, but it's you I want. Okay? <laughs> it's you. Sweetie, I love you. I love you. I agree with you. And I'm sorry that you had to go through all of this, but I will never cheat on you or hurt you again. I promise. Miss Pitt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay again. I'm just like, I'm sorry.
Stop the tears from flowing down my eyes.